I am the Eddie Haymore. He called me and said, hello, my name is Eddie Haymore, and in 1976 I took 34 people hostage. I said, hello, nice to meet you. That is my island there. And uh, the government took it from me under duress. A lot of people would have given up right at the start and then maybe not gone over the edge. I saw it as a story about his obsession, only he takes it to the next level. I said to them, walk with me to die. The former psychiatric patient, Eddie Haymore, raged at the Canadian embassy. Hostages in Beirut. Dad? Slow down. He was probably the 1960s version of a millionaire mogul, and he saw no boundaries to his dreams. Hello. Hi. You're so cute. When I saw the island, I fell in love with it. He always has visions, and sometimes they're a little out there. I call it Moroccan Shadu. He was going to bring hundreds of people a day out to this island. A desert theme park with a miniature golf course. A concrete camel that spat out ice cream. It was crazy. It is his biggest love, but his greatest failure. Every relevant ministry was obstructing what Eddie was trying to do. He really conducted business as though he was still in his native land. It was a real conspiracy. He lost everything. His island, his dream, had been sold. I will challenge to the death for my island. At which point a bullet came flying through the door, ripping up the carpet in front of me. I won't get it back. Back. Is it optimism or delusion? I mean, it depends who you ask. I think they should give it back to him. Let him build a statue on it if he wants. He'll never get the island back. It's all right to have a dream. Just don't send any letter bombs. Pick up my 200 grenades. Good afternoon, officer, the premier. One is the government. Premier John, one in opposition. I am in the front of your office. Give me my island back. Any method to obtain justice is justice in itself.